Hey, I'm Patrick from Patchworks, and today we're talking about the click chair and whether or not you actually need it. So they advertise this chair as kind of like a hiking, super portable camp chair, right? That pops up quickly and puts away the size of a water bottle. Um, the first thing is, it's the same thickness as a water bottle. So I guess it could technically slide in the same spots, but it's not gonna stay in your bag like that. It's more likely you're gonna have to clip it to something or carry it with you. But in reality, there's no way this is a hiking chair. Um, if you're looking for a hiking chair, you want something lightweight, something like this, which is one of those other click together things. It takes a bit longer to put together than this. I actually do a time comparison, I guess, but it weighs, this is one pound and this is 3.65 pounds. So that might not sound like much of a difference, but if you're used to backpacking and stuff like that, that's a big difference. What I use it for is I keep it right by my door of my van and it's super quick and easy to pop out and have a chair when I'm camping or staying close or anything like that. And for that, I really love it. It pops up that quick. It's sturdy as could be. And it's a very comfortable seating position. Um, I definitely know some people, some of my friends and people that have tried these types of chairs that don't like sitting like this. They don't find it comfortable. Um, so maybe try it out on a friend's first to make sure you're cool with sitting like this. But for me, I really like it. Very loungy. Um, it also has a bit of like a gyroscope effect on it. So you can be on uneven ground and hills and stuff. And it kind of, it's four legs are separate from the four top pieces. So the legs will stay stable and the top can move around. Uh, that kind of sketches people out sometimes when they sit on it. They think it's gonna be unstable or they think me laying back on it is me about to fall over. But it's just kind of the way it's built. These types of chairs aren't really built like that. So if you wanna hike, you're gonna wanna have a light chair, not a click chair. If you want a quick, easy setup, easy breakdown chair, it's probably a good thing for you. Honestly, I love it. The company's super good. Their warranties are really good. Um, I use mine so much, I tore through the first canvas I had and they sent me a brand new one, no worries. And it's probably my most common used chair because I'm sitting outside pretty freaking often. And especially for the size it takes up, if, you're, if you find yourself at sporting things and stuff and you're like, ah, oh, I wish I had a chair, Throwing one of these in your trunk or something like that is huge. Or even if you just have a camping setup that you don't need one of those big bulky chairs that's not even as comfortable as one of these will be. I do want to make a point that at Bass Pro or Cabela's and that sort of stuff, you can buy little tripod chairs. And this one was 10 bucks and I bought it years ago and it still works and I don't think it will ever break. It's super lightweight, probably just as lightweight as this, and pretty equally comfortable, except there's no back support. So if you're seeing something in a real long time, this might still be better. And if you have money to invest in a good chair, you want one of these. But if you're just looking for something small that fits somewhere, a tripod chair would also work. It is much longer, and I think this is probably still lighter. But this is 10 bucks, and this is 100 bucks. Uh, I think REI sells a smaller one of these for 70 and then this is also 100 bucks. So it's not like one is really better for the other, it's just things are used for different things. If, ever, if it's ever going in my backpack, I use this. If I'm going anywhere far with this, I use this. It is better lashing to put it onto stuff. And it doesn't weigh anything. This feels like a freaking brick. Like I, if the soccer field is like kind of far away on the other end of the sports complex, this might be a little heavy to carry to there. You can manage, but it's heavy. It's not a hiking chair. No one is ever bringing one of these to the top of a mountain. This is also really good for quick, 
pop up, takes two seconds. You need to offer a seat to somebody. You can have this, 10 bucks, store is tight. Pretty damn good. All right, I guess I'm gonna do a time setup and see how long it takes to set this up versus this up. It'll be super scientific. Clock, stopwatch. Okay, unopened, ready, set, go. Done. 8.27 seconds. That's pretty damn good. <laughs> I'm gonna reset it, I'm gonna break it down, which definitely takes a bit longer, but still not that long. All right, ready, set, go. You just pop these little legs in, they telescope in, it's all pulls together, that loops around, stop. 19 and a half seconds. So you're putting this down and breaking it up, or breaking it down? Putting it up and breaking it down in 30 seconds. That's pretty damn impressive. And this is gonna take much, much longer than that. A camping chair, this one from REI. Obviously REI rocks, if you don't know about REI. REI rocks. Ready, set, go. Pulls out of the bag. This is the other thing, you do have a separate, separate bag you gotta, you know, take care of. Click chair doesn't need that. These all pop together. Let me take the canvas. Throw the corners over. Stop. 34 seconds to put this together. And I will say that these, no, they're equally comfortable. Break down, ready, set, go. And you just pull these out and you gotta make them, sometimes this goes really quick and sometimes these things get tangled and you can't get a grip on them and it takes a little longer. But generally, no one's ever in that much of a rush, rush to put their chair away. Stop. 42 seconds, almost 43 seconds. So that's 43 and 30 is what, a minute 20? I think it was like 35 too, so a minute 25, minute and a half, because I am pretty quick at it. That's not that much of a difference, truthfully. That's, I think ideally, you want both. Maybe that's a good question. If I only had $100, which chair would I use? Hmm, I had to pick one, I'd get this kind. This is a great convenience, the click chair is a great convenience convenience to have both but if you had to get one I go camp chair if you can get the click chair you want it because it does it's awesome I love it I use it all the time but if not everybody can have both so there you go all right I hope that was helpful really the main thing is they both set up pretty quick click chair is definitely a little faster but it's also a lot heavier so if you're taking it far distance using it for hiking that kind of stuff you're gonna want a lightweight camp chair. Um, but if you're keeping it close, it's just kind of right out of your car or your van or your rig or anything like that, the click chair might be best for you. Overall, the REI camping chair can do both things. So if you only have enough to spend it on that, that might be the way to go. But there's definitely nothing wrong with the click chair. The quality is really nice. The stability of it is really nice. The company is really nice. Obviously so is REI. Um, but yeah, I think they're both really great. Those are the pros and cons. And I'll see you next time. Bye.